Distinguished guests, students, particularly students, colleagues, and particularly those of you, parents, families, and friends from Malaysia and all over the globe. A warm welcome to a very wet, windy, and cold Dublin, I'm afraid. I'm Dr. Patrick Fell. I'm the Associate Dean for International Studies here at University College Dublin, and I'm your MC for the night. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, President and Vice President of RUMC. Greetings from Penang on a slightly overcast day. I'm Professor David Whitford, President and CEO of RCSI at UCD Malaysia Campus. I'm really looking forward to meeting you and welcoming you to Penang in the early new year. Your semester starts on the 16th of January and that uh, first week is a week of induction. As I've already shared with some of you when I was visiting Dublin recently, the second week is the Festival of Chinese New Year. So you go from a first week of induction and immediately have a week's holiday. But nevertheless, after that, you're fully into your clinical training for the next two and a half years. And time will pass very quickly. And, it, and just around the corner will be your graduation in that two and a half years time. So again, I'd say uh, enjoy the rest of your time in Dublin. Hope your final assessments uh, before you leave Dublin go well. And we look forward to seeing you in Penang in early January. Take care. Welcome. My name's Simon Jones. I'm the Vice President and Registrar of RUMC. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you back to Malaysia. What a journey you've been on. What an adventure. You've gone to Ireland, one of the loveliest countries in Europe, and you've had some of the very best medical education possible. It's challenged you and it's helped you grow to become the medical professions, professionals that you graduate as. And now it's time for a big change. For some of you, it's coming back home. For some of you, it's coming to another country. But for all of you, it's a chance to take the theoretical knowledge that you've got so far and apply it in developing your clinical skills. All of us here at RUMC are looking forward to welcoming you back here. We've got a great program designed for you. We've got great hospitals. We've got great teachers. And we're looking forward to teaching you, our great students. Congratulations on your studies so far. The best is yet to come, and I'm looking forward once again, as I've said, to welcoming you back to Malaysia. Thank you. Great. So good news for you there from Prof. David. Your 6 a.m. surgical rounds don't start until week three, so you're going to have a little rest when you get back. Now, without further ado, I'm going to hand over to my colleague, Professor Michael Keane, who's Dean of the School of Medicine here at UCD and a member of the Senate of RUMC. Your Excellency, uh, Ms. Nazira Razak, distinguished guests, colleagues, students, parents, and friends, I would like to extend to you a very warm welcome to this year's RUMC White Coat and Farewell Ceremony. I'm Michael Keane, the Dean of Medicine and the head of the school of, uh, head of the UCD School of Medicine. You're all most welcome to our in-person gathering to bid farewell to those students going to Penang to complete their clinical training. As RUM students, RUMC students, you will act as ambassadors for UCD in Malaysia and will help maintain the important connections between Ireland and Malaysia. Since its inception in 1996, RUMC has graduated over 2,000 doctors who are now practicing medicine in various countries around the world. Students from Malaysia and across Southeast Asia have come to UCD to study the preclinical portion of the medicine program. They've greatly enriched UCD campus life with their enthusiastic participation. The two and a half years that you have been with us have seen you continue in the tradition of Penang students, making a positive contribution to the School of Medicine. 
You've excelled in your programme at research as part of the su Summer Student Research Awards and also at extracurricular activities including sports and volunteering. To all those we're saying farewell to, today's event is a celebration of your experience in UCD and the friendships which you have forged during your time in Ireland. Though this is a joyous occasion, it can be tinged with some sadness as it marks the end of your time here. The next phase of your education will bring with it many challenges and great responsibility, but the determination and focus that you have applied to your training thus far will serve you well in the years ahead. I wish you the very best of luck in our noble profession. Do keep in touch with us as your careers develop and be sure to maintain the friendships that you have forged here in Ireland. Always remember with pride your commitment to serve patients and society as RUMC doctors. The next chapter of your medical education is symbolised today by the donning of your white coat. This action marks the transition into the full-time clinical stage of the medicine programme. You are entering an environment where you will begin to be seen not as a student but rather as a doctor in training. The white coat signifies a new level of responsibility in learning how to care for patients within a clinical setting. Your clinical years will give you the opportunity to put into practice all that you have learned here in UCD. I'll now ask the students to stand up and together put on their white coat. Okay, if we can read together. As a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. The health and well-being of my patient will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. I will not permit considerations of age, disease or disability, creed, ethnic origin, gender, nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me, even after the patient has died. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity and in accordance with good medical practice. I will foster the honor and noble traditions of the medical profession. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I would share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the patient and the advancement of healthcare. I will attend to my own health, well-being and abilities in order to provide care of the highest standard. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely and upon my honour. Nurin Mastura Ab Halit. Alia Nur Asmalina Ahmad Nazri. <laughs> Mariam Hasina Ahmad Saifuddin. Danish Akmal Amir Miraj. <laughs> to Siang Antonio Tan. Azra Binti Baharin. <laughs> Muhammad Farhan bin Aizan.
Muhammad Iqbal bin Maud Isa. Amira Asma Binti Nur Azman. Geoffrey Chang. Putri Nur Aira Safia Ed Simor Khan. Su Yi Go. Ku Hasina Hassan. Samantha C. Wen Hung. Monia Mamon Ibrahim. Kiran Mala Kalyan Sundaram. Tashli Ki Wun Yin. Jun Kai Lo. Daniel Lo. Jaren Yi Sheng Lu. Lauren Luis. Nofara Nazira Mazari. Liana Maisara Mazlan. Nadia Farida Mohamed Fauzi. Putri Nur Shamimi Mod Sambilan. Mohamed Zakwan Mod Zaki. Nor Patricia Auni Nor Fazil Hadri. Yung He Ong. <laughs> Farah Husna Sarpan. <laughs> Alicia Nur Kistina Sharizban Nur. Abram Ninan Fargis. <laughs> Wan No Ariana Shuhada Wan Faisham Numan. <laughs> Fidelia Singh Ru Wong. Terry Ming Hoi Yo. Noor Azrina Zakaria. Thank you. Uh, Professor Michael King, 
uh, Professor Cecily Kelleher, uh, Dr. Patrick Fell, and uh, Ms. Julie, uh, distinguished uh, professors and lecturers of UCD, and most importantly, uh, third year RUMC medical students, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, firstly, I wish to thank UCD for providing me with the opportunity to deliver a few words on behalf of the embassy. And um, uh, this is my second RUMC farewell so far, uh, last year and this year, in person, if I, I may add. And um, it's uh, my pleasure to be here on uh, UCD again. And I think this is my third or fourth time on this campus this year uh, alone. And uh, I was made to understand that uh, this evening there's a total of 45 students uh, who will be continuing your studies in Penang. So maybe we can have a round of applause for everyone. <laughs> Congratulations once again and for having made it uh, so far and I believe that you know the past two and a half years have not been um, as what you can say normal for everyone due to online studies and the pandemic and everything but um, I want everyone to give a huge pat on your back for having uh, made it uh, uh, getting through uh, the past few years and for having fulfilled the trust um, hip open your shoulders by your parents and loved ones in Malaysia. And um, uh, I have had the opportunity to also work along with uh, UCD students. And I think from my observation, uh, what I have seen so far, UCD has produced not only well-rounded students uh, who excel academically, but also students who are able to engage with the society to organize programs, and I have seen some amazing talents as well uh, during the previous uh, Malaysian, uh, Malaysian night and during the Dublin Games, and I'm proud of uh, the students, and, and kudos to all of you for having that uh, ability to not just excel academically, but to also uh, excel in other areas as well. And um, I believe that um, the road ahead will not be easy, but... Um, have faith that um, better things will come and only good and uh, bigger things we are waiting for you up ahead. And I'm sure your 2.5 years in Penang will also add uh, to, uh, will also sh help shape your character as uh, doctors and as uh, medical professionals. And a huge thank you once again to UCD for the staff, lecturers and the supporting staff for providing our students with the best education and care and for helping them grow into better individuals. So um, don't forget, I'm sure you must be set to leave Dublin, but um, you will be starting a new chapter of your life. And since you have a few more uh, uh, weeks until in January before you start your clinical training, uh, I would advise you to take the opportunity to go around island and you know enjoy what you have not been yet been able to enjoy while you're studying so uh, and thank you for becoming a uh, mini ambassadors of Malaysia here in Ireland thank you Ms. Nazira thank you so much for those very kind words it's our great honor to have you here as a representative of the Malaysian Embassy on our campus every time and you're a most welcome guest at all times, I think. I hope you know that. So the next uh, phase of this uh, lovely gathering, I'd like to introduce you some of the Malaysia Society members, Jeffrey, Asma, and Monia. Good evening to the Dean of Medicine, the Associate Dean of Medicine, the College Principal, Her Excellency First Secretary, distinguished lecturers, colleagues and family members. My name is Geoffrey Chang, and I stand here before you with many emotions. <coughs> Through the course of the two and a half years in UCD, I've experienced the joys and the sorrows of being a medical student at this esteemed Institute of Learning. And I can be nothing but grateful for this chance to be standing here at the end of the race. I have learned countless lessons about trying to be a doctor, a student, a scholar, and a friend. I have experienced the stress of exams, the freedom of summer, great successes, and bittersweet failures. I'm sure all the students here can tell you that the journey was wrought with hardship and difficulties. 
Yet, it was nothing less than fulfilling and life-changing. Being together here with my colleagues attending class and virtual ones was truly enriching and UCD has definitely exceeded my expectations. As we transition to the next stage in our lives, I feel worried yet excited about the future because the end of our Irish chapter here in Ireland is the start of the Malaysian one. We will continue to be open to new experiences and new people, different perspectives and knowledge. I feel happy that I could spend these last few years with such amazing people who have given me their love and their support throughout my academic journey. But I think I, nay, everyone here feels a little sad. As I stand here giving this speech, I am reminded of the limited time I have left here as a UCD medical student, and I learned this last lesson, how to say goodbye. The main audience I want to say goodbye to, or rather cheers to, are the friends I'll leave behind here in Ireland. The events together weren't important, but whom we choose to share them with. I'll miss complaining about, again, how cold the weather was in Ireland, and how excited we were when classes got cancelled and we could go home early. Such good memories and bonds were made here that will last a lifetime. And it might be the last time we ever see some of them. Our paths will diverge from this point on. And all that has left me with our feelings of heartache and gratitude. Heartache that this might be the last goodbye for most of us. And gratitude that we had a good run. I thank you all for that. Saying goodbye here at this ceremony and me with this address is probably the last chance to say what hasn't been said express feelings kept away, and show how much this person means to you. My peers, my friends, my chosen family, goodbye. Hopefully for now. <laughs> to close this short yet emotional part of this address, I'd like to give our sincere thanks and final goodbyes to the professors who guided us here, especially those who have attended the ceremony. To Dr. Melinda Halas, flying candies and tutorials aside, I think we can all agree that you make us feel special. We know that you put a lot of effort into making learning fun. Because of that, I now know that anemia is not a diagnosis. <laughs> To Dr. James Jones, a mix of ambiguity in your slides awakened the side of me that sought clarity in your teachings. Doesn't mean he wasn't a bad lecturer, he was great. <laughs> it taught me to seek out answers and made me a better academic and student as a result. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, to Dr. Kun Meng Chang who unfortunately can't make it today. I will discuss in great, great detail later on. <laughs> <laughs> I have never felt bored in your lectures. The hundreds of slides you cover in that 15 minute span is awe inspiring. <laughs> but your teachings are truly of the highest quality and it's evident by the number of times people have come to me asking for your tutorial notes. 
to our dear lecturers, we shall forever in our hearts look back to your teachings in our future careers, endeavors, and as we accept our white coats today. I believe that the hardest part of teaching is seeing your students leave and wondering what type of doctors they will become. So I wish to bid you adieu to all of the dedicated lecturers in UCD and all the best from us. Thank you. And I'd like to say one more thank you um, to Ms. Nazira for coming in today and having the time to um, congratulate us on having our white coat ceremony. So please can we invite you for uh, the bouquet of flowers? I guess. Yeah, campus life is great. <laughs> uh, in UCD, you have a. I, I think the swimming pool is quite good. Yeah, you have an Olympic, uh, Olympic size swimming, size swimming pool. Yeah. Swimming pool. Yeah. You can like connect with a lot of different personalities. It's really fun. Yeah. Um, making new friends, campus life. The sunset. I like the lake. The food. I get to join like few societies and get to know some friends here. Love, freedom. <laughs> we have like two gyms, we have a swimming pool. Yeah. I love the science building, it's pretty. It's good. It's good. We have a big campus. I love it. And we have good food. Mm -hmm. Uh, the schedule that was prepared for us, many, uh, for many students, are just nice and not tiring. Yeah, I think so. Coming to lecture together, listen to lecture together, then. <laughs> Go back together. Yeah, it's and quite boring. I acted as like Auntie Muna, and <laughs> I got all the fame. I like fame. Showering, like sleeping in the village. Um, good food order. Spice bag. Spice bag. Yeah. How we are so dead in the evening after class ends. <laughs> Going for breakout room, escape room. Wait, I'm here. Fidelia and Kirin. I don't have a favourite favourite, but I like the I mean, not the album itself, but the memories they give me. The M Night. No way! Yes. There's no way! Yes. 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 Yeah! Wow, oh, I'm so. <laughs> I entered the lecture and I realized that I was in university and had so many people to meet and so many experiences that I could really look forward to. I think that. Uh, I have a very supporting community and people are very nice here. Let's stay strong for another two and a half years. Let's then, then sell together, don't stress out too much. We stress just together. Let's have a very like good remaining time. Mm -hmm. here. Because we have like few months left. No, few days left. Yeah. It's, it's very sad to go home, but it is what it is. Love you guys. Let's make this journey a fun one. Oh, I think um, I'm always so grateful for UCD, and I hope like the juniors just have fun. Honestly, Michelle, get out of your comfort zone, do whatever you want to do. Let's just get to be closer to each other like a family. We can do this another two point five years. Shout out to my gang. Shout out to gang side, gang side. Shout out to my yeah. gang number two, gang number three. It's my great honor and pleasure to meet all of you guys. Um, before we leave, I want to say I wish you all Patrick <laughs> Um Get into the specialty you want and enjoy your life. Congratulations on your white coat ceremony. And good luck. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. I have like very good friends. It provides a and a heart of really good time with it. It's so sad that they're leaving already. Scene 2, take 1, action. What do you like about being a student? It's a bad idea. Look forward to, look forward to the, the dread of the next two and a half years. <laughs> All I can say is, I feel like I deserve that title. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah,
I have spent many, many happy days, weeks, and times in Malaysia, and one great thing about Malaysia is food. And it's hard to believe we're in a little part of Malaysia here now, and we haven't eaten, and we're here almost an hour. It's almost unheard of. Uh, Professor Keen and I will be in beautiful Penang in a few weeks' time. And unfortunately, Prof. Kelleher is not coming with us this time, I think. But uh, we travel regularly. We're very heavily involved. We are on the Senate of RUMC. We will continue to see you all those times. And we continue to have lovely, wonderful times in Malaysia. So as we're in Malaysia, let's eat. Yeah.